afternoon, everybody. My name is Jeremy. Today we'll be going over vertical kingpin play and the bushing top and the bot and the bottom bushing play. What we have here is I have lifted up the frame just far enough so that the tire can move. I've installed a dial indicator on the frame and also to the very top of the kingpin is which I'm going to be measuring. Uh, this one is actually clean. I had pre-cleaned it. Sometimes if this is dirty, you're going to want to clean this off so that you get a nice surface to work with. Uh, you want to make sure that your dial indicator is dialed out to zero. That way you get a proper measurement. So also, what I didn't mention before is you want to make sure that your vehicle is, the suspension is unloaded. And by unloaded, I park this vehicle out of the side of my bay and I let it sit overnight and slowly let it just coast into the, the shop so that I would be able to work on it. And what that does is that settles the suspension and allows it to become unloaded. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the tire spoon and again I'm going to put it under the tire and if you guys want to watch the dial indicator you'll see between 8 to 10 thousands of play in the kingpin itself. And you see right there, we had between eight to twelve thousandths of play. Uh, factory manuf the manufacturer specification uh, is all based on vehicle specific. But mainly for a brand new kingpin, it's going to be between two to twenty thousandths, and for a used kingpin, it's going to be between two and forty thousandths. So as you guys can see, this kingpin here is within manufacturer specification. All right, guys, welcome back. We have now transitioned over from doing the up and down movement to now we're going to be t testing the bush, the kingpin bushings. Uh, now what that is is inside you have your kingpin. You have the top of the knuckle, the bottom of the knuckle. We're now going to test the in and out movement of those bushings. So as you can see right here, I have my dial indicator set up. I have it zeroed out. And now what I'm going to do is put a little bit of force behind it. And if you look close, you'll be able to see the, the dial indicator moving. And it looks like we have about 12, 12 or so thousandths of an inch play which is still within manufacturer spec because for a new kingpin manufacturer spec is two to twenty thousand and for a used kingpin we have two to forty thousand so twelve is still within it's a little loose but it's still within spec so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna transition this now over to the bottom and I'm gonna test the bottom bushing Alright everybody, welcome back. As you can see, I've transitioned over to the bottom kingpin. And we're going to go ahead and move it now. If you look over at the dial indicator, you'll see that we have about 10, 10 to 12 thousandths play also on the bottom. Uh, once again, like we said before, it's definitely within manufacturer spec which is two to forty thousandths being a used kingpin uh, as you can see right here this is the whole kingpin setup we have our top our bottom and then where the frame comes in which would be it attaches at the top and the bottom there just want to say uh, thank you for joining me and have a great day